What is up YouTube fam? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki Alexia and today I am doing an unboxing of the Ultra Human CGM Continuous Glucose Monitor. I'm gonna give you some of the stats, the information. We're gonna do the first time install application. And yeah, I'm just gonna give you some of my first thoughts on that. Nikki. Okay, so as I stated before, my name is Nikki. I'm so glad to have you here. Y'all, it's been a while since I've done a product review, so bear with me. I'm a little rusty. I'm a lot rusty. This should be quick. I should not ramble. We should get to the point. But if we shan't, shall not, shan't, don't, I'll edit it out. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for joining me. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in health and wellness. But I also vlog so that you get a more human perspective on how I implement these things in my day-to-day -day life, okay? That being said, let's talk a little bit about why I decided to try a, a continuous glucose monitor. Real quick, real quick, we are gonna get to the unboxing. I am a 42, about to be 43 in December year old woman who if you see my old videos or take a peek, I've always been into health and wellness. It's been my vibe for a minute. I'm not a fitness um, freak, I'm not a gym rat, but I just am more, if there's a scale of I don't give a damn about health and wellness to, to I wanna be the fittest person on the planet, I'm somewhere leaning towards the right side, but I'm not perfect, okay? So that being said, I went on a journey, I lost a good a bit of, amount of weight, built a good bit amount of muscle, and this was around 39 years old. Well, after that, it all fell apart. Why I say that? Well, I found myself unable to maintain the lower calorie count. I found myself unable to maintain energy levels, uh, my blood sugar was all over the place. I just couldn't figure things out. The things that I used to do and be able to do without stressing myself as far as eating and exercising suddenly became a chore. My hair started thinning, my skin started changing, my weight started increasing. You know what it is, women. You already know. What's her name? Starts with a P. Starts with a P. Perimenopause has entered the chat. That being said, I have not given up on my health journey, but it has changed. I still want to lose weight, but I just want to be the healthiest I can be for my hormonal juncture in life that we're at right now. I am a big on tracking and I'm big on gadgets to help keep me accountable. So here we are. Ultra Human, you're about to help me. You're about to help me on this journey, okay? And now let's also add into this mix. <laughs> with perimenopause, there's been stress. There's been a lot of stress thrown into the mix. So as I learn more about blood sugar and as I listen to a lot of experts, I do realize that what affects one does not affect all. And because I wanna get back to a certain level of fitness, right, and health, I understand that I do have to be a lot more meticulous in that journey as well. So we're not new to this, we true to this. I'm not new to the nutritional aspect, I'm not new to the working out aspect, but I'm new to both things in this part of my life and dealing with perimenopause. Pause. I'm curious as to whether or not there's certain foods that are throwing me off that have never been a problem before when I incorporated them into my healthy eating habits in the past. I'm wondering if there's certain times a day that it's better to consume certain foods, even some of the supplements that I take. And I just think that this will give me a little more detail than eat less, work out more. Because my body, I'm not, I'm not an anomaly. This is common advice is given that is piss poor advice. Sorry, it is. If you're one of people, stop doing it. We need to know why, why we're hungry and craving what we crave. And a lot of it has to do with blood sugar. So that being said, let's move on to the next thing because I'm rambling. Okay, let's take this out. Now, I ordered this online. The ordering process was very simple. You do have to have a prescription to order glucose monitoring devices. However, they have an online system that makes it very easy. Uh, you basically enter some basic health information. They have a network of doctors that will then approve or reject you. I don't think most people get rejected, but I don't know. And then you get your prescription. They handle it all. It's like a seamless process and then they ship your order. Okay. 
So let's take a look. And also, why did I choose Ultra Human over the other CDM devices? Well, I was doing my research and the pricing was astronomical for a lot of these devices. For one, trying to go about getting a prescription also for just to have a continuous glucose monitor with the apps that come with them. Let, let's go there first. Trying to get a prescription for a continuous glucose monitor when you are not diabetic is gonna be a bit of a chore. I've heard some doctors are on board with it and some are not. That being said, even once you get the prescription, if you are doing it and utilizing it with a the basic apps like Libre, uh, some of the other brands I can't think of off the top of my head, they don't have the interface that interprets the data for you. So that being said, if you're really trying to get to the crux of things and really understand how your body reacts, you really should consider doing a service or a program that incorporates the app with it that lets you know what the data even means. Of course, work with your doctor, but your doctor ain't gonna be talking to you three times a day, honey, not unless you're married to him. In that case, congratulations, okay. <laughs> But, or her, in that case, congratulations. So that's why I chose Ultra Human. Also because they do not have a separate subscription for the app. Some of these other companies charge upwards of about 200 or so just for the app. And then you gotta pay 200 or so for the, no, we're not doing that. You pay for the sensors, you use the app. It's all one price, just pay for the sensors. Okay, no extra for the app. So let's go through what's in here. We have the Ultra Human. Packaging, well, actually let me show you. Let me show you in the box. I'm pretty sure these are the CGMs because I ordered a six month supply. So for those, I just took one out. Let's actually take out the bigger box. It's this black matte packaging, very cute, with a gloss matte print that says Deep Health Insights. Love it. So let's see what we have here. And I hope you guys can see. Okay, I really wanted to use uh, more natural lighting. So I took off the top. There's a container here that has more than likely instructions. Oh, no. It has alcohol wipes. And these are the stickers that go over the sensor to keep them in place and also, I guess, provide additional protection. So that's all that's in there. And then you have your sensors in here. So off rip, I love the packaging. It's so stupid, I know, but that there are people that are really big on packaging because to them, and to me probably a little bit, how much care you take in that indicates how much detail you pay, take in the customer, like how much attention to detail you pay on other in other aspects of the product. So there's no written instructions, but I do know you download the Ultra Human app and you download the Le Freestyle Libre app. Yeah, these are just more sensors and more uh, stickers and more wipes. That's two. Each sensor lasts about two weeks. You do get them in packs of two. Um, so a month, one month supply. Let's talk about pricing. It's going to be $2.99 as of today. Okay, October 2024, United States. This is the pricing as of today. Three month subscription, $6.99. One year is $23.99. Very pricey. But how I justify this in my mind is that I'd rather spend the money to get the details that I need to get, the help that I need to get to be able to manage my me at manage me remaining healthy than to i'd rather get help than to fight this battle every day on my own and not know little changes that i can make that make the journey to maintaining health more difficult for example things that i might be eating that could be throwing me all so off whack and let's be honest um a big part of cravings is not just that certain things are addictive in the sense of taste, but also what they do to your blood sugar as far as spiking it and crashing it also induces cravings. That's how the body responds to, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera. That's how the body responds to crash sugar levels. So sometimes what I'm finding is that some people react to strange things. I've seen a woman talking about her blood sugar and realizing that whenever she ate steak, specifically steak, not ground beef, not pot roast, but specifically certain parts of steak that for some reason, her blood sugar would spike as though she had ate a brownie. And then inverse of that, when she would eat certain desserts, 
that of course it's going to raise your blood sugar when you have sugars if you have additional sugars added to your food but it did not even spark it as nearly as much as what she thought compared to other desserts so it's it is helpful to know these things so y'all now what i'm gonna do Oh, and I'm sorry, I missed one um, pricing model. And you can get a subscription-based service where monthly they reship you a month supply of sensors. That discounts the price a little bit for one month supply from $2.99 to $2.49, which saves you about $50. What I did, I would suggest you do, find an influencer that has a discount code. I don't have one, I'm doing this on my own dime. Find an influencer that has a discount code, a 10% discount code on YouTube and plug that in. It really helps a lot, I definitely utilize that on my order but yeah they also do shop pay so if you want to break the payments up that also helps with that but I chose to just one and done it because I don't like payments I don't I particularly don't like subscription plans I think everybody's will come to subscription based as far as services and like apps it's it's getting out of control we're not even really saving money anymore but also i just don't like the fact i'm not keeping up with what i'm spending every month it's just too much to track so i did the one and done six month plan so let's do this setup and then that's where we're gonna end this guys i just wanted to tell you and we're gonna see what my first reading is Ugh. So give me a second. It does recommend that you shave your arm area because um, if you don't, the hair is there, it can cause irritation. After having that needle stuck there in that site with that little sticky thing around it, the hairs can cause additional pulling and irritation. So I already did that. You do have to install the Freestyle Libre app and the Ultra Human app. I already did that. So let me go and try to get this installed and calibrate it because I want my coffee and it takes about an hour to calibrate and I can't have my coffee until this calories and gets my first reading so let's go do that i'll be right back this closing part of the video already just completely left out all pertinent details so as you could see applying the device was pretty simple there is a step-by-step -step in the ultra human app you first set up the libre app and set up your account then you set up the uh, ultra human and you link the stuff together okay it'll take you through the video in ultra human as far as applying the device and the order by which to set up your apps very simple make sure that you hold the device as it says that the way that it says directly against the libre there's a particular positioning that it will display it would not work even when I had it close to it until I specifically positioned it that way so pay attention to that other than that I think this is going to be fun like I said it took about an hour to get my first reading my blood sugar was low or is low it read out at 63 when I first put it when it first calibrated but again I have not eaten nor drank nor nothing this morning and it's now 12 o'clock I use my fitness pal okay so I have the premium version of my fitness pal I a big advocate for logging food for those who can handle logging food not so that you can hyper fixate on calories but so that you can see what's going on in your life and how you're eating and how it affects your weight and like I like data for a bigger picture perspective not just calories in calories out so I have my fitness power premium you can sync that to 
the ultra human app which i would strongly suggest the ultra the as i've already saw in other videos the ultra human food database is not as detailed as my fitness pal so i would strongly suggest utilizing them if you have a, a subscription so that you can properly log your food so that you can see the time frames by which your blood sugar is affected by foods so like let's say i'm gonna have my coffee now does it spike me right now crash me later spike me again crash me again or does it is there a delay and i'll find like two hours from now i'll have a heavy sugar crash two hours every time i have after I have coffee. Those are the types of things I wanna know. And then how can I modify it if that's the case? Can I change just no sugar? Can I change the honey? What do I need to do? So I strongly suggest tracking your food with this. That's even on the front end. That's what I've heard from other people, but that's also what I advocate for anyway. And it also syncs with your Apple Health. It syncs with a lot of apps, but you can do it directly from the Ultra Human app to allow access. And then it'll ask you for information depending upon the app so that you can sync it. Very simple. So I'm about to go on about my day and have my coffee. Let's see what it does. I'm not gonna do it on here. I'm about to continue my vlog. So that is again where in everyday life, you can see how it kind of plays out with me wearing this patch. But I vlog about everything. But my health journey, of course it's gonna be, you know, drizzled in there too. So I'm about to go drink my coffee and see how this affects this. We're gonna wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stick around. I love going my tribe. I love going my YouTube family. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. We'll do an update video maybe in a couple of weeks or so just to see how I've been utilizing the information that I'm getting. Other than that, love you guys. Have a blessed one. Health is what you make it. What's important to you in your health journey is what you make it. It's not always about weight. It's not always about body size. It's not always about whatever. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. Love you guys so much. I'm so excited about this new phase of my journey in life and health. And I'm excited for you guys to join me. Y'all are gonna keep me in check because now that we've started this, I can't just fall off. I encourage y'all to bully me in the comments, okay? Bully me. Ask me when I haven't posted for a while, why I ain't posting no updates. Ask me why when I'm not supposed to be eating something, why you see me eating on the vlog. I encourage it, okay? I'm gonna eat them words later, I know. But anyway, talk to you later. Love you, bye. Thank <laughs> you.